boys we've been killing it on youtube thank you guys let me give you guys a video help you get better man and dummy is your madden bull Bro, what is up with these no guys super bummer dude all right boys i mean we've been killing it you guys have been subbing commenting liking videos we're well over seventy thousand subscribers and if you're not you can subscribe right now and one of the main questions i get all the time are what are your zone drops defensive settings zone drops i played zone pretty much the last four or five months in madden so i'll help you guys out but first i want to show you what ea sent me these are pretty dope look at these the official madden play like mad air maxes i mean not the most beautiful colorway but we got the football pigskin on them the ea sports on the tongue these are kind of fly boys like i said ea sent me these dope I like them. Keep them. Not a lot of people have these in the collection. But speaking of collection, you can add to your collection these defensive settings that I use. I said I use zone. I don't really like zone drops. I'm just start out by saying that I feel like they just stand in one spot. They're not baity. They're not confusing. Uh, whereas if you're if you're on default, those guys move around a lot more inside, outside, up, down. A lot. They cover a lot more ground, so to speak. But I'll show you guys what I do what abilities I rock and pretty much why I do what I do. I know you guys have seen my team in a million videos, but this one I'll show you guys why I use what I do. So let's get to it. Uh, it's pretty much been dialed, but you can do this out of any cover three. Cover three is probably the best defense in the game this year, at least the safest. Uh, you're not going to give up huge plays, and you have to be wary of where the huge plays are coming from. But let's take a look at it. Defensive adjustments. Now, auto flip I'll turn off. I run dollar or dime both are really symmetrical so auto flip doesn't matter that much auto alignment i like base against trips i like man align but against bait against everything else i'll use base and i would suggest you guys use base right here like i said i like default but i also like to have my curl flats which are my purples on 20. now people ask me all the time why don't you put your flats on 20. well this is easy for me to figure out because one a flat zone has so many different variations where a purple zone, you really just have a curl flat. Uh, there's quarter flats, there's seam flats, but I don't think you can hot route them. And honestly, I don't think there's that big a difference between them. I'm not a zone super nerd, but I know a flat can have a hard flat or a cloud flat. So it can play either at, you know, zero to five yards or 15 to 20. So those different variations make, make me feel like putting that particular zone on one setting really limits your defense. Same thing with yellow zones, man. Yellow zones can play right at five yards or it'll drop down to 15 to 20 yards. There's such a variance in those zones that I feel like putting them on a zone drop is detrimental to your defense, right? But I also like having that deep purple zone because now you'll be able to double Mabel any single play. And I'll show you what I do most every play. Here we go. So I like 20, sometimes 25, but 20 seems to be the soft spot. I feel like when you go to 25 and 30, there's a lot of routes that get underneath them, and you don't really want that. So 20 yards, we're going to go dollar. This is pretty much the defense. Every single play, at least starting free safety zone blitz, right? And let's just put it against shotgun uh, bunch, right? Now, what I like to do is come down here. You see right there, I shade down wide down on the D-pad. So now I have those hard flats I talked about that will play zero to five yards, right? Now I have the option. Normally I'll put Edwards here, who I use with mid zone, in a yellow zone like that. All right? That's probably my, my main default setup. So I have no purple zones on the field right now. So this is what I mean about no zone drops on your flat. So if I want to, if he's doing a lot of hot routes and I think he's going to go deep, I can actually shade up. And now I have cloud flats on the field. And another thing I can do is I can shade up. And then I can put Y McDuffie in a hard flat. So now I can have a cloud flat on the right that's going to drop 15 yards. And the slot on the left is only going to be 0 to 5 yards. Another reason why I don't like putting my cloud flats on a zone drop. But why I do use a zone drop. So, you know, we come same thing. We'll come out here. And instead of putting him in a yellow, in a yellow we'll shade down. We'll put him in a purple. And then we'll put this guy in a yellow zone. So now I have that hard flat. I'll have this guy at 20 yards, and I'll have the deep zone over here as well. So that's why how I use my zone drops to stop certain things. Now, since you're in cover three, what are you going to go with the most? The seam. Seam to the tight end on the wheel route. Seams and verticals, anything like that. Now, the best way to stop a seam is the outside guys. You want to put them in deep half. So what that is is 
Y, Y, you, what you do is you hit Y to go um, quick adjust, and then you're going to go X to the outside receiver, and then right on the right stick will put him in a deep half. So what that'll do will make him run to the middle of the field a little bit more than a deep third. A third will play the sideline a little bit more, and a quarter will play the sideline even more. So if you want to stop the seams or anything like that, what you want to do is go deep half. This will also stop any cover three bombs like people have out of bunch or anything like that. So a lot of times my default setup against bunch is like this, a deep half, uh, what's it called? A deep half, hard flats, and a yellow zone. That's probably my default setup, just like that, you know. So, But this is why I use my zone drops. One thing I also do love about the 20-yard purple is that when I talk about my default setup for bunch, I'll even put this guy Y on the left side on a purple zone because a lot of people will want to put, you know, their slot on a cross or their slot on a post. And what McDuffie will do now is uh, he won't run back there right away, right? Like if he was on the safe, when I put it on the safety, the yellow, the purple zone, he's right there. So many people might not throw, but when he's pressed like this, he'll just keep strafing back and back and back and back. And when he's right here, like people are passing, they'll think he's going to stop. But he just keeps dropping all the way back. I get a lot of interceptions with this guy about right here because he's so slow to get back. Now, that's a bad thing if you want him to stop a corner route. Say if I do the right side and do a purple zone, now he's not going to get out to a corner route. But this side over here where you're getting crossing routes, I love that zone. Press 20-yard purple to mix people up a lot. So that's how I use my zone drops. Um, that's what I like. I like a shaded down yellow. And, uh, you know, I like the deep half, and that's pretty pretty much how I use my zone drops. You know, I, I don't really change anything like that. Um, one of the best tricks I'll give you guys as well before I get out of here with this quick video, but um, say, uh, all right, our zones aren't covering anything. They're not that deep or whatever it may be. One of the favorite things I like to do is playing the sticks Y and left bumper. What that is is all your zones will play right at the, right at the sticks. So if it's third and one, these guys will jump down and be right here at one yard. If it's third and 40, these guys will just drop all the way back to 40 yards. So this is a way on the fly I'm able to kind of use a zone drop, so to speak. Like, you know, say say it's third and 10 and they get sacked and they no huddle and all of a sudden it's, third, it's fourth and 20. Instead of calling timeout or anything like that uh, because my zones won't get back far enough, I use the Y button and the, and the sticks right there. So that'll play the sticks. So... Just a couple tricks, how I use my zone drops and everything like that. And before I, listen, I'll show you this as well. My abilities. The deep guy, this is my main setup pretty much every play. So the deep guys have deep knockout. And the underneath guys have mid zone. Because that's the that's the plays they're in. That's the zones they're in. Uh, I like mid zone more than flat zone. Because, okay. Mid zone will knock out anything from this corner. From the hash mark. Pretty much everything like 30 yards but it won't get 10 yards num like where that flat zone is on the field is where mid zone won't knock out that's where flat zone will knock out but i think mid zone has a bigger area of knockouts than flat zone does it's just me and then a lot of times when you're in hard flats like i am a lot they'll cover outside anyway so i know i talked quickly i know i you know rambled so to speak but i hope you guys got anything from that learn how i use zone drops people ask me have been asking me forever I'm not a big zone drop guy, but that 20-yard, 20 25-yard purple is definitely sneaky. You should add it to your game, mess with it, and learn when to put deep halves and learn when to put hard flats and learn when to use that play to sticks feature for sure, man. But like I said, we've been killing it on YouTube. We've been farming. My PC actually has to go in for a little bit of work. Hopefully, it's one day. Hopefully, we're in and out. We're adding more capture cards. We're adding um, streaming with that 140 hertz on my monitor is what I want. So I might be off a few days on the YouTube and the Twitch, but I want to give you guys this video to thank you guys for the farm. If there's any other questions you have in Madden, give me some ideas of videos you guys want to see like this, man, because I'll respond to whatever I can and get videos out like this. They're easy for me to do, and hopefully you guys like them, boys.